back i'm back y'all i don't even remember the last video that i posted because your girl been out of the game for a good minute y'all i was gonna do vlogmas i even recorded like all my content and all my videos and i just couldn't get it together i couldn't get it together so i was like you know what I went home for holiday block leave. As you guys, if you don't know, I'm in the military. I'm in the army. And I took 28 days of holiday block leave. I was recording. I was getting it together. But then I, I just thought to myself, I just want to enjoy my leave. Enjoy the people that I'm, I'm around. I don't want to work. I don't want to have a camera up in everybody's face. So I ended up not vlogging. Another reason why I did not vlog is because... I lost <laughs> my battery for my camera and I ended up buying a cheap battery out here in Germany. And baby, every time I turned the camera on, it kept saying it was overheating. And I was like, you know what? Maybe this is a sign. I just need to take a break mentally. I need a break physically. I need a break. And now I'm back. I paid $70 for a battery. So y'all better make sure y'all watch and subscribe to my video. Because your girl put some coins into getting getting the show back on the road. But y'all, it is 2024. Today is January 10th. I, I hope everybody's having a good new year. Hope y'all got y'all new year resolution and y'all sticking to it. So my new year resolution this year is to be consistent and to be more positive. Especially with how I feel about my job and in the military sometimes it could be overwhelming and it could just be a lot and i find myself complaining about everything being negative about everything so this year i want to be more i don't know, i guess show more gratitude for where i'm at in life because baby i prayed and worked hard to get here and i'm praying to work hard to get to where i'm trying to go next so my new year's resolution is just to be more positive and to love on the people that i have and people that surround me but y'all, y'all go ahead and drop y'all New Year's resolution or one thing that you want to work on this year, 2024, because this year we put in belt to ass. We standing on big business. I'm not playing with nobody. I'm coming here to do what I need to do. I'm trying to get my school, try to finish school. Your girl got 24 credits until I graduate my bachelor's degree. I'm trying to give me some more certs. If y'all don't know, I'm a 25 Bravo, an information technology specialist in the Army. So, your girl is trying to get them coins. So, just drop y'all New Year's resolution and let me know what's something that you want to work on this year. So, I ended up posting on my Snapchat, I wanted to do a girls talk or a sit down talk. This is my first sit down video. So... Y'all gonna have to bear with me because I ain't never do nothing like this. But I posted on my Snapchat. I said it was, a, it was it was anonymous, and I was like, just send some topics or scenarios that you guys wanted me to talk about. So this is what we gonna get into. I told them don't ask me no, nothing that y'all don't want the answer to. So I had like about ten, fifteen messages so the first anonymous message that i have is how come when a woman gets with a man and he's telling her about herself to help her she breaks up with him but do everything for the next man so basically he's saying that he's telling the girl about herself maybe it could be like her attitude maybe it's something that he's doing or that she's doing and that he doesn't like and she breaks up with you baby let her go let her go what one woman won't do another one will and maybe you just wasn't the right guy for her to make her want to do those things for you maybe it's, it was something that you was doing that she just did not feel like she wanted to do certain things for you and it could be like that or maybe you're just not the one for her or maybe I don't know. And what was you saying? Like, what y'all be telling? What y'all be telling the girls about themselves? Like, what y'all be saying? Like, that's another thing. It's how you come off and all that. So 
So the next question was, why is it the norm when a good man comes along and the woman is not ready, she calls him a sap? So if you're a good man and a woman is not ready and she's calling you a sap, it's because one, Shorty either had some trauma that she has been through with other men, so she doesn't know how to receive that, that love. And some people don't know how to receive that love. And some women are actually afraid of, I guess, receiving love. I used to be like that. Like, I used to be scared to re receive love for somebody because I don't know. I didn't know if it was, like, genuine because I'm a genuine person. And when I love somebody, I truly love them. It's nothing fake about how I love. And some people will love you to get certain things or to get something in return from you. So... That could be another reason why. And if a woman is not ready, I feel like as a man, you could take her out on dates. You could pay for food. You could pay for trips. You could pay for anything. And if she's not ready to commit or she's not ready to love you or she hasn't fully healed, then I feel like you should respect that. And either you could wait for her to heal or you could go on it if you... If she's been the block, then she's been the block. Okay, so the third message that I have. Do you believe that men will change for the white, white woman? And my answer to that is yes. So, I feel like men will change for who they want to change for. You cannot make a man change for you. You can't make him do certain things that you don't want to do even if you if you get him to do what you want to do eventually he's gonna it's an act he's gonna give it up so if a man's gonna do right by you he's gonna do right by you if he's not he's just not like there's nothing that you could do you can be you can have the best pum pum you could be spending money you could be tricking on him you could be cooking for him cleaning for him washing his clothes all that, all that wifey stuff you could be doing for him. And if he's not ready for that if, or if he does not want that, then it's never going to be enough. A man that is ready to settle down and commit, that's the only way that a man is going to be faithful and do right by you. It's, it's, it's if he wants to do right by you. She said, for or he said, for example, if he was a hoe... Before he meets you, but with you, he's a gentleman, nice, loving, and caring. But your friends told you he was a hoe. How would you act to that? I say I do believe that people can change. He might be wild with the mother girls. And he might be a gentleman, as you said, and nice, loving, and caring to you. But I feel like as a woman, you set the tone for how you want to be treated. So... Some females are, are more, let's see, out in the open. They're more free and more fun. They want to have fun. They just want to have fun. And I feel like men know that and they're going to deal with that woman ac accordingly. But if you come in and you putting your foot down and it's a no tolerance zone, even if you mess up, it's like you either going to get right or you're going to get left. And you're not just going to keep dealing with it. Like, you're going to have to, like, you either going to get right or you're going to get left. So I feel like as a woman, you set the tone for, like, how you allow people to treat you. Whether it's good or bad, you set the tone. So you just have to let him know up front, like, hey, like, I'm not playing with you. And some of them will play. Baby, they will play. They will hop, skip, jump, turn around, all that. <laughs> but you just have to be like, you know what, like, you just have to shut it down. Like, even if you give chances and stuff like that, it's going to come to the point where you're like, I, I can't keep dealing with this. And then you're just going to have to shut it down. And if your friends is telling you that he was a hoe or whatever, I feel like, not trying to be funny, everybody has a past. Whether it's publicly known or you on the down low, you hush. You got the silent hoes. You got the out loud hoes. You got the super hoes. But... I feel like everybody has a past and what one person might do with this person, they might not do with that, that person. So 
I feel like you just have to pay attention to the signs. Because, not trying to be funny, once a cheater, always a cheater. Some, they might change, they might get better, they might grow, but they still have it in them. So, you need to make sure you paying attention, watching for the signs. And the signs are, like, there. They can be obvious. Like, if this man is getting catching you doing everything right and he's just randomly catching an attitude with you. And when a man gets mean and he, like, he, he irritated with you and he's too busy, baby, start, look, pay attention. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Because the signs is there. <laughs> okay, so the next question is, if your man texts you something that you took in the in a wrong way but he explains what he meant by it and apologize for how you took it and tells you he won't talk to you in that manner again what you say you done or move on or give him another chance i guess it depends on like what is he saying like is he calling you out your name is he like what is he saying but i feel like with texting because you said he was texting you texting could be taken in the wrong way so i'm really like a big one like if i see something i don't like the way you text me i'm gonna call you like what you what you mean by that because i guess like the tone and stuff from a text message could be miss it can miss be misunderstood so i feel like you should call him and ask him like hey like what do you mean by this like i don't like the way you said this communicate just talk like i don't like the way you said that is that how you meant meant it or like can you clear this up for me to get more clarity? So I really wouldn't be mad. I would just talk to them and be like, so what you, what you mean? <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> okay. So this is another one. If you have a sexual boyfriend, like real sexual, how many rounds would you give him? Or how would you please him to make sure he's happy or you wouldn't care? You would just please him when he's ready. Baby! So, I didn't have it all. I had men that, like, that wasn't really, like, sexual. And I had men that was sexual. That, I'm not even going to say sexual. I guess it just depends on, like, their age. So, you have to look at their age, for one. Then you have to look at, okay... Most men, if they're really attracted to you, they're going to want to hump on you. They're going to want your cookie. So, I feel like it still needs to be boundaries because you will get tired. If you're doing something or having sex when you don't really want to, I feel like there's no real fun in that. It's going to feel like a job. So, I feel like you should give it to him because I feel like you, sh you as a woman, you should please your man. But baby, when enough is enough, it's enough. Because you don't want fat ma to be super fat ma because she's swollen. Like, no. Like, you got to tell him, baby, hold on. Hold on. Like, you, have, you might have to sit down and come to an agreement like, okay, look. I don't mind doing it this amount of time or just have boundaries place. Like, when you say enough is enough, it's enough. And if he can't respect that and he's still trying to hump on you, shut all that shit down. <laughs> shut it down. But, like, look, if you can't respect what I'm asking, because men, I feel like it's, like, it's all pleasure. Y'all, it's maybe I'm wrong, but it's all pleasure. Y'all getting what y'all getting. And, uh Women is like you have swelling invo involved, you got ripping, depending on if they got the bump bump, or you know, if they got the you know, it's ripping involved, all that. So it can be very uncomfortable to keep going and have sex. Like the coochie can be dry, feel like you got dang rubbing sandpaper together, like no we're not doing that no once you got a spit started baby it's, it's too much it's too far so i feel like you should have a boundary you set a boundary and you should talk to your partner some people are very sexually like they're they have a high sex drive and some people have a, a low sex drive so i feel like you just have to learn each other it's a part of learning your partner and i couldn't say how to please them because I feel like that comes with learning your partner. Some people like certain things. Some people 
freaky, super freaky, and super nasty. Some people not, you know? So I feel like it's just you just have to take the time to learn your partner. And another thing that I struggle with is stop being lazy. Like, okay, so if you done been like a whole couple days without giving that man some, baby, get that man some. Get him some. Like, men are more physical than women. But make sure he's also emotionally and mentally stimulating you. Because me, I can't get with it if I'm not emotionally and mentally in a good place. Or if I'm tired. And I know a lot of women probably feel like that. Like, me, I'm going to school. I'm working. I'm doing all these other things. So, I tend to feel tired most of the time. So, I feel like it comes that comes with sacrifices. Like you have to also make sure you're getting what you need, but also making sure your partner is getting what they need. And vice versa. They should be doing the same thing. Okay. Another question. If a man is giving you all the love you need, treating you right, fucking you right, fucking you how you need, but he can't take care of you as a man should, do you stay or leave? And I don't know if you mean when you say, but he can't take care of you as a man should. What do you mean? Like paying your bills? Because, like, what do you mean? So I feel like if a man is giving you all the love you need, he's treating you right. He's giving you that good. But he can't take care of you as he should. Should you leave or should you stay? Baby, have you been outside? Do you not know how these men act outside? <laughs> if you getting all that and you're crying about or you're stressing about he can't take it, take care of you as a man should. I'm thinking that you're talking financially. I feel like financially that is something that somebody could work on or they can change. Or you could always switch jobs and find a better job or find, finding a better paying job. So I feel like I wouldn't throw the things that I feel like you should be valuing the most in a relationship. I wouldn't throw all that away because a man can't financially take care of you. Because baby, you should be taking care of yourself. That's number one. You should be financially take care of yourself. You shouldn't be de depending upon a man to take care of you. You should be taking care of yourself. You should have your own money, your own transportation. And should be able to put a roof over top of your own head if need be. Or at least have some money saved up. Like, I feel like a woman shouldn't solely be focusing on what a man can do for her. Because you need to make sure you can do for yourself before you worry about what anybody else could do for you. But financially, when it comes to a man taking care of you, it's nice. And I think every woman wants a man that can take care of her. But... Everybody's starting from somewhere. And some people are on different levels. Some people have different opportunities. People have different lives. So I feel like if you have all the like the core values, like he's treating you good. You say he was treating you good. He's giving you the love that you need. And he's giving you good D. Baby, it's hard to find some good D out here. You better hold on to him. <laughs> but... I think you should hold on, baby. Stay stay down. Hold on. Now, if, if it's something that you don't want, because I, I do have friends. I've had friends. I had this talk before. Financially, if you feel like that's not what you want and that's not how you want to be taken care of, that's okay. You need to go ahead and find somebody that has that money, but they also might be lacking in other places. So you might be compromising and you might lose out on one of the values of him treating you good. He can have all the money in the world, but if he doing you wrong, baby, I guess you want to cry in a Rolls voice instead of a Honda. Shit. Do you. That's what you want to do. Do you. But just know that it's going to be compromising. And not everybody's perfect. Like, somebody, they people always have something with them. Like, nobody's perfect. So, if they lack in this, but they might be good in that. But they might be lacking something else. So, if I was you and I'm being treated good and 
being loved on he's giving me what i need in mentally and emotionally then we could work on the financial because baby i'm gonna go get her and i'm gonna go get my what i need and i can help you along the way i'm not gonna carry you but i can help you and we could work together as a team to get to where we want to be so you can take care of me you know what i'm saying yeah why is monogamy so important or you're young but y'all love each other but y'all still find others attractive and want to have fun i feel like monogamy is important to me because it's how i grew up so i don't want to share anybody because you're doing stuff sexually you're venting to this person this person is supposed to be your provider you're confident you're supposed to confide in that person this should be your safe place and i feel like nobody wants to share their person unless you're into stuff like that then that's on you but if you love each other but y'all still find and y'all find each other attractive and y'all want to have fun then baby have fun like as long as y'all had that conversation like hey i like you i'm attracted to you I might not be looking for nothing serious right now. I just want to have fun. I feel like being honest can get you what you want with women. Y'all mess up when y'all be lying and trying to act like it's something that y'all want and y'all really don't want. And then that's when the women start acting crazy. So just be honest. Like either she's going to be with it or not. I feel like you should find out if she's with it before y'all get too deep. Or she might think something or think you're really trying to be with her and you're not just trying to have fun. And now she at your door kicking it down. So just be honest. Just let her know what you're looking for and what you want. Okay. And I think that was the last question. So I'm going to end this vlog right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all comment down below if to the questions that I had. Let me know what y'all would do or what y'all think about the questions. You got y'all go ahead and answer the questions down below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Your girl will be dropping more content. I'm trying to stay consistent. It's 2024 and I have a lot in store this year. So make sure y'all stay tuned. And watch these videos I'm about to drop because I'm about to go to Spain in a couple days. I'm going back to Spain, y'all. I'm going back to Spain. But this time, we going big or we going home. We standing on big business. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned and continue watching. Bye.